At the start of this pandemic, medical organizations issued guidance to reduce patient contact with healthcare facilities. And as a result, many across the country delayed critical health screenings. Now experts say that may be the reason diagnoses of common cancers are down, and that can mean life-saving treatments are delayed. So as we make a personal AZ Family commitment to Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we want to share the experts' reminder. Cancer didn't disappear just because COVID is here people being screened when they should be screened. That's Frank Nagy, who is with Wesley Community and Health Centers. This is one of two locations in Phoenix, which serves low income, under or uninsured clients. The facilities offer bilingual services and are among similar healthcare systems in Arizona with access to the Well Woman program through the state, covering the cost of mammograms and cervical screenings. Those who don't qualify pay reduced fees determined on a sliding scale. The Department of Health Services has even said in Arizona, we need to make sure that people who are putting off screenings for anything, regular screenings, office visits, doctor visits, start to do that because what we're starting to see is a lot of adverse health outcomes related to just people not going to the doctor. No matter how busy you might be or how limited your resources are during this pandemic, there are options out there for you and services to provide the screenings you need, like this mobile mammography van. We don't have mammography on site, so we brought mammography on site to accommodate our patients better so that they don't have to return on a different date, go to a different facility, try, uh, drive somewhere else, uh, make additional arrangements on another day for another appointment. Annual mammography guidelines for women at average risk vary based on the source, from yearly screening starting at age 40 to annually no later than age 45 to routine screenings for women only between the ages of 50 and 74 and every other year. Confusing, yes, but bottom line, see a provider regularly and communicate your concerns. Knowing what feels right and normal for you um, it are important things, and that's why it's important to have a conversation with your provider about it. Um, the guidelines are just that. Breast cancer doesn't start at age 50. It doesn't end at age 74. There are women who get it before. There are women who get it later. So throughout the day, Arizona's family focusing on breast cancer as our friend and colleague Suzanne shares her personal battle. The host of Your Life Arizona will join us live in the 7 o'clock hour, and you're going to be finding links to the resources mentioned here on azfamily.com.